Well, the Roman Catholic community tonight is mourning the passing of Bishop Thomas Costello, a towering figure in the faith for several generations of Central New Yorkers. Costello died this morning at Francis House after several weeks of declining health. A native of Camden, the retired Auxiliary Bishop of Syracuse, was known throughout Central New York and well beyond for his fierce commitment to peace and social justice. News Channel 9's Dan Cummings now with a look back at the life and legacy of Bishop Costello. The only child of a teacher and a grocer, young Tom Costello told mom and dad he wanted to be a priest. Dad's response, if that's what you want to do, be a damn good one. He was that and so much more. Ordained in 1954, Costello served five years as assistant pastor and then 20 years later in the mid-70s as pastor at Our Lady of Lourdes in Syracuse. In between those priestly assignments lay the entire decade of the 60s and half of the 70s, a time of staggering change in the church and in society, a time when the seeds were sown for Tom Costello's leadership. For that entire 15 years, he was superintendent of Catholic schools throughout the seven county diocese. But it was also in the 60s and 70s when Costello's sense of social justice awakened under the mentorship of Monsignor Charles Brady. He taught all of us who lived in that community what it means to be concerned uh, about issues, about public policy issues, about justice issues, about peace issues. Uh, just by his being, we absorb so much. And uh, so for any fire in my belly, uh, he lit it. That fire took Costello to Alabama in 1965, where he answered Martin Luther King's call for clergy to march for civil rights. His was a familiar face at Syracuse marches and rallies as well. He had no patience for injustice and spoke out clearly against racism, abortion, the death penalty, pornography, violence, and war. Bishop Costello led prayer vigils for anti-nuclear protesters, fought for organized labor, workers' rights, and gender equality. He was a founding member of the local interreligious council, promoting dialogue with all wisdom traditions. In the wake of the Second Vatican Council, Costello led the way for church reform, urging a stronger role for the people in the pews, especially women. In so many ways, for so many years, he was ahead of his time, ahead of his own church. And always, Tom Costello was a passionate preacher with that booming voice. Jubilee is not something we're doing for God. Jubilee is something God's doing for us. And to prepare for it, can we be still? Can we lay back? Can we relax? It is not enough to be a believer, he'd say. One must be a witness. In 1978, at the appointment of Pope Paul VI, Costello became the Auxiliary Bishop of Syracuse. And in 2004, he looked back on a life of priestly service. But there have been hundreds, thousands of good days. Uh, any day you can go to the altar. Good day. Bishop Costello died just eight days short of his 90th birthday. Calling hours are scheduled for next Thursday from 4 to 7 p.m. at the Cathedral of the Immaculate Conception. The funeral mass will be celebrated at the cathedral next Friday morning at 11.